I don't know about you, but I've always been skeptical of Martin Lewis and what his motivations are. So I woke up this morning and I had a quick glance at the, the newspaper headlines via the, the BBC. That's the only thing that I use the BBC for, is to just find out what I'm supposed to think. And uh, without exception, all the newspapers are screaming about the cost of living crisis and how British households won't be, won't be able to afford their electricity and gas bills because prices are going to rise again. So Martin Lewis is, is calling on the government to do something about it. You know, uh, he, he wants some sort of help for, for British households. Now, the, the thing is, is this, is that the crisis that we're currently in, this cost of living crisis, it's not being caused by Putin. Uh, Russian natural gas accounts for less than 10% of the UK's natural gas consumption. So we're not going to buy that bullshit at, at all. If you do like a moment of research, you, you can find that. Check, check that out yourself. Fact check me on that. So the, so the, so the other thing then is... Um, this crisis has been caused by excessive money printing and it happened uh, because of, um, of Divac 91, Spoof 19, whatever you want to call it. And the main vehicles for printing the money was furlough, uh, paying 80% of, 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 of wages for people who are sat at home producing nothing. Um, bounce back loans for companies that could then go bust and uh, not have to repay. So where's the incentive there? It's to take the 50k, wind the business down. Who cares that it destroys productive capacity in the UK economy? What you've, what you've effect, in effect done is printed shed loads of money to boost demand and at the same time you've slashed production capacity because a lot of firms just couldn't survive those lockdowns. So the cost of living crisis is a direct consequence of government help. So what Martin Lewis is doing, let's call him Mr. Inflation, because th that, everything that he advocates um, results in inflation. Um, that's, yeah, it, it, it does. That's, that's certainly what he's been doing for the last two years. Everything that that guy has advocated over the last two years is highly inflationary. So he's calling on the government yet again to help households. The UK government has got a na national debt of over one, one and a half trillion pounds and it's rising rapidly because the government's spending too much and they're not collecting in as much as tax as they should. So where does Lewis think that they're going to get the money from? There is no other logical explanation apart from the Bank of England's printing press. So it's like an alcoholic and, um, you know, they've, they've got... They've got they're drinking too much and Martin Lewis's suggestion is more alcohol. You know, we've got a problem with inflation. It's caused by money printing. What's Martin Lewis's suggestion? More, 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 more money printing under the guise of helping people through some, I don't know what they're going to call it, you know, furlough for helping people with their bills, help to heat or something like that. Um, it will result in more money printing and more inflation. It's like, again, like trying to put out a fire by throwing more petrol on it. Inflation is always and everywhere a monetary phenomenon. If you add more money supply, there's more money chasing the same amount of goods. Or in the case of us, more money chasing fewer goods and services. Because with more of these policies being uh, rolled out, there's more and more firms going bust because of the inflation that, that Sunak um, created that Martin Lewis shield for. So the question has got to be asked, hasn't it? Is, is Martin Lewis just making um, innocent cock-ups? Or, you know, is he, uh, is, is he, is he a not-so-benevolent force? For, for, uh, is he on your side? That's a good question to ask. Because when I was teaching, I, I used to do a personal finance um, course. Rather than getting the banks in, I used to teach the students about what I'd learned about money and banking and personal finance. And um, a lot of, I remember one colleague in particular, I have to say she was pretty clueless. Um, she always used to talk about Martin Lewis. So, you know, you'd look at his, his, um, his articles in newspapers and you'd look at the videos he, he produced. This is well before Divac 91. And he was always advocating that poor people, 
you know, what you should do is get a new credit card, you know, to get some more Tesco points or something. And at the time, I just thought, is this bloke for real? Is he, is that his, is that his genuine advice? Like, you know, one of the main reasons why people are poor and they don't have much purchasing power is that a high proportion of what they earn is blown on debt interest, interest payments on credit cards. Maybe they borrow too much to buy their location, 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 dream house. And all of their wages, practically, after tax, go on repaying their, their, their car loans and credit cards and mortgages and student loans and all the rest of it. And Martin Lewis's suggestion was always, oh, you can get some Sainsbury's points if you, if you switch credit card. He so in summary then, is Martin Lewis out to help you or uh, is, he, is he trying to torpedo your personal finances? I'll, le I'll leave that up to you and uh, as ever, do your own research. So uh, God bless from sunny Finland.